one of the things which which I loved in your book and which also really shocked me was how much uh, resentment there was towards the first Ghostbusters film during its production. Can you can you oh, talk yeah. about can you talk about that a little bit more? Oh yeah, sure, sure. I mean, and having um, you know, I grew up like an hour outside of New York, and uh, I lived in the city for a little while when I was an adult. And uh, oh yeah, like you know, the slightest the slightest change in the plan just like ruins everyone's day like you know uh to, like commuting wise and um <clears throat> yeah like you know i think one of the stories that is often repeated about their production is when they were filming in columbus circle and how that caused such a traffic nightmare you know and um new yorkers are not going to put up with anything like that and uh you know they don't care who you are uh, so, but there was also a lot of, uh, like rigmarole about trying to get locations where it's like, you know, we don't, you know, the, uh, we don't want you filming here. We don't want you filming here, you know? And I remember like from when, you know, I lived in Brooklyn, like in God, like 2008 to 2013 or so. And it's like, yeah, I mean, the, you never get any warning that this stuff is happening. Like maybe a day before there'll be a sign that says, Hey, we're filming the Smurfs movie here. The street's going to be totally blocked off. You're not gonna be able to get anywhere, sure. you know, or like. I remember I couldn't get into my bank uh, quite often because Law and Order loved to film like right on that corner, okay. and I was like, "You can't go to the bank today, sorry." Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, and I mean, certainly, you know, it's also another thing that's kind of hard to fathom on, at this point in time is like a lot of people didn't think Bill Murray or Dan Aykroyd were all that funny or like even liked them that much, you know. <laughs> so when people are like, oh, Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd are filming it or filming a movie in the middle of like the most congested part of Manhattan, they're like, oh wow, even more reason to dislike them. Yeah. <laughs> they're unfunny and they're causing me problems in my work life. So <laughs> And yet, little did they know that actually, it's a it's a film that I think for many would spawn a real love affair for New York City. And I think I think you touched on it that five years later, the 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 backlash wasn't quite so when it came to Ghostbusters too. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, that's right. They were they were more forgiving, um, you know. But uh, you know, I think the, at least uh, like into the nineties, Dan Aykroyd was still complaining about how much how much the city taxed them on the first Ghostbusters. He's like, I'm going to be paying those taxes the rest of my life. Uh, so, yeah, but certainly they didn't have as many uh, production issues when they were filming the second one. I, I thought the book did a... It's, it's interesting, reading the book and reading the critics and the summary you've pulled together of, of all of those that criticised Ghostbusters 2, of which there were many, um, you would come away from that chapter feeling in some ways like it is one of the worst films ever made yeah i you know i i adore it it's probably because of the time it came in my childhood it is a very different beast it is it is not the sophisticated romp that we saw in the first one but i still think it holds up what what say you on ghostbusters 2 you know it's interesting because i have always i kind of like fluctuate on i think there's a lot of really funny stuff in it i think there's a lot of kind of creative stuff in it i and like look i think that this is something that people kind of lose sight of when they complain about the uh like how realistic like you know the narrative of a movie is i feel like life is so unpredictable and you never know you know you're up or you're down you know, and so it's like sometimes i wonder like you never know when a 17th century painting is going to become possessed <laughs> do you 